Thanks for joining us in the Teaching at Conestoga series. These videos should help with some of the most frequently asked questions people have when they start teaching at the college. In this video, we'll discuss assignment descriptions. By having clear and easy to understand assignment descriptions, you're supporting student success and potentially avoiding grade challenges. There are some important pieces of information to include in your assignment description. First of all, what is the purpose? What learning outcomes will it address? What associated knowledge, skills, and attitudes will it help your students to develop? Next, add some context. What background information does the student need to consider? Thirdly, name the task. What are you asking the student to do? Who is the audience they're creating the assignment for? Good structured questions will help guide their thinking. Break down the dates that the key components need to be completed by, as well as their expected length and formatting. If this is a writing assignment, specify an acceptable writing style. Is this a formal paper? A business brief? A technical paper? Be clear about the style expectations. Use clear, succinct language and avoid using jargon. Use action verbs such as analyze or describe, and then give a short, explicit explanation of what you mean. Create and refer to a rubric to accompany the assignment description. Be sure to state how much the assignment is worth and if it's to be done individually, in pairs, or in groups. Discuss what to expect when problems arise. Is there a penalty for late assignments? How will you detect plagiarism? How will problems with group work be supported? Outline what acceptable sources of information are and where students can go to for support, such as the library or student success services. If appropriate, include a link to a reference source to guide students in citing their material properly. If the assignment has many components, consider including a checklist so the student can ensure they've included all requirements. Give advice on what students should focus on or avoid. Many students find it helpful if you include an approximate amount of time it should take to complete the task, as well as an exemplar or walkthrough of what an excellent assignment would look like. In addition to posting your assignment description on eConestoga, make sure you reserve some class time to discuss the assignment guidelines and answer any questions. Tell students when they will have in-class time to work on the assignment when you will be available to coach and support them. Taking the time to craft a thoughtful and well-designed assignment can create a wonderful learning opportunity for your students and the chance for them to show their achievement of your course outcomes. Thank you for teaching at Conestoga.